Hey, this is a quick add-on on my Artillery Living Node Formation video, part do. I was testing this unit out, and my other video is getting over 10 minutes, so I didn't add it in there, so this is going to be a quick add-on. Um, <clears throat> one of the things to remember about the Living Artillery Node is that all Tyranid weapons are assault. It was pointed out to me before that uh, the 12-inch uh, range on the Warriors is actually not that far for you to be out from from the uh, artillery units as, as their spotter. But think about it this way. That's 12-inch range. But all heavy weapons, what would normally be heavy weapons, are assault in Tyranid armies. So those units can move. That means if it's 17, in if those warrior brood is 17 inches away, and don't forget that that warrior brood can have nine warriors in it, and each of those has a two-inch range on that. So you're talking about you could make a string of warriors in and of itself that's going to be like 18 inches long if you put them out that long. But you get my point. It's going to be it's not just going to be a single model as a spotter. It's going to be a group of them. That extends the range, too. Back to my point. So since they're all assault, they move and shoot. That means they can, if they're 17 inches away, they could move up 6 inches, get within the 12-inch range, still shoot, and have the non-deviation special, uh, re-roll non-deviation rule. That right there puts you at a working distance of 18 inches. This combines with another brilliant mix-up with the Tyranids, hive mind powers, catalyst. If you're going to be building this ranged army, you're going to be using catalyst a lot. Because what does catalyst do? Well, you can read, you can watch the hive mind power video, and you'll find out. But you'll understand that that basically extends the range out to 24 inches, because now they're moving 12. See what I'm saying? 12-inch range to the brood, to the warrior brood, and if the models plus whatever the models can move to. This is what's going to make them a very unique ranged army that's different from many of the other ranged armies, is that since they're all assault, these big tanks and everything, they're going to be running around. They're not just going to be, oh, I got my Biovore up, now I got to move up, now I got to stay here for a turn, then I'm going to shoot next turn because I moved and shot. Those guys are going to be running around. Okay, the Exocrine is going to be running around, so the Bioplasma Cannon, you know, only has a 12-inch range until you consider that it's running around. Okay, that's another 6-inch range right there. And as I said with Catalyst, you're going up to 12-inch range. That's what makes this such a the Tyranid such a unique shooter army is that you're going to be using that ability, the assault ability, to stay out of combat. Okay, as somebody closes up with you, you're going to be running back six inches or something like that, or out of the way six inches, and then shooting at that range because the other armies, Imperial Guard or any other big gun armies. They tend to have to just stand still. Mm. Now, like I said, when I'm talking about the moving and shooting here, most of the time I'm referring to using the catalyst ability. Obviously, normal units can move and shoot too. And the big point about the assault is that since there's no there's no heavy weapons. Most artillery pieces, but every other army in the game, are typically heavy unless they're mounted on a vehicle. So the Exocrine is going to be shooting basically a battle cannon, right? I mean, it's a strength 7 AP2 large blast, but he's an assault. So that is the real key point. Uh, I got this in under five minutes. I hope you understand my combos better now. And I still hope to see these ranged Tyranid armies out there and showing people how cool it is. See you next time!